Hi, it's Angela Fox again from the Berkshire Group. Thanks for checking back to find out items four and five on my top five list of things that you should know as a buyer when you're going through the inspection process. Um, the, the fourth question I want to answer is, you know, what should I ask for from a seller after I do my inspection? And this really depends on what type of market we're in. Right now in 2017, we are in a strong, strong seller's market. So some sellers are selling their house as is or offering very little that they're going to take care of during the inspection process. Keep in mind, you want to ask for major health and safety items. We want to know the mechanicals are good, the sewer line, the electrical, the roof. Those large ticket items, um, you know, have great integrity to the home. Some of those honeydew lists, or if you're buying a house that was built in 1980, those are things that you might be able to take care of your own that aren't health and safety concerns, but you definitely want to take care of once you get into the home. And last but not least, how can the seller respond to your inspection request? So if you're con using the contract to buy and sell in Colorado, there's three ways that the seller can respond to your inspection request. The first way is they can say, absolutely not. I'm not fixing anything on the list. The good thing is you still have the right to back out of the contract, protect your earnest money, or you can move forward because maybe the inspection findings weren't that um, worrisome to you. And so you can move forward with the contract. The second way that a seller can respond is say, you know, I'm going to fix everything exactly as you have it written on your list. And I'm going to fix everything that you've asked for. The third way that a seller can respond is what's called an alternate resolution. So what this means is maybe they're going to agree to fix items A and B and C on your list, but not item D and E. Or maybe they're going to offer a credit to allow for you to take care of those expenses or those repairs after closing. So they're not going to fix anything, but they're going to offer a $1,000 credit to you to have those repairs done later. So I hope that was very, very beneficial so you can understand a little bit more about the inspection process. If you have any questions at all, please reach out. If you have real estate needs for yourself, friends, or family, I'd love to hear from you. Again, it's Angela Fox with the Berkshire Group, and you can reach me at 303-246-6629. Thanks for watching.